Hello everybody, this is Triple T or Too Many Toyotas. I'm uh, back after a very long hiatus because I've been pretty busy around here. Uh, this is my new four-cylinder race car. It's still number 72. I showed my Sunfire previously on the channel for a very short period of time. And uh, I've been busy with racing that and doing other projects for a while, quite a while now. Uh, this car is a 1986 Celica ST fully converted to GTS with, uh, you know, the wing. It's got full GTS suspension, five lug hubs, and it has a 3S GE, 2 liter, naturally aspirated. Turbos aren't allowed in the class, so I wish they were, because that would make it a lot more fun. But, um, yeah, so it's, um, been taking up quite a lot of time and money, <laughs> and, um, still haven't had a chance to upgrade any of my equipment, so I'm still using my phone camera today. And, uh, yeah, so, I'll show you around this thing a little bit, and, uh, I'm posting up some GoPro footage. The GoPro is usually on the dash right there, but I have it taken out because I was taking all the footage off it. But, uh, yeah, this is our command center. Steering wheel. I just made that adapter myself because I couldn't find a three-hole or three -hole steering wheel to put in. And then, uh, power off switch, water and temp, and coolant, or, sorry, water and oil gauges. And then the AEM wideband sensor with a couple switches there for fuel. And, uh, we have, uh, cooling fans on a on a relay that automatically turn on at 180 uh, degrees. We were running at 210 this weekend, it's a bit hot. I was thinking of getting a bigger radiator because uh, I don't want it to overheat on days that are even hotter. It was only about 85 degrees outside temp yesterday and uh, it could get hotter than that, you never know in Michigan. Yep, and then that uh, little warning light thing there, that's, uh, it's out of a 1985 Buick Riviera and I just put it in there for fun. It's just got a couple warning lights that come on when you turn the battery on, just for looks really, but. And then uh, the shifter for our S53 5-speed, I got it out of a 1993 Celica. And then a uh, fire extinguisher and the Link Monsoon standalone ECU. So, uh, yeah, that was quite a bit of work if you've never done one of those before. It basically had to rewire the entire car. And then, uh, actually, this thing was 80 pounds overweight for the class that we're using. So it's uh, we had to put 25 pounds here and 50 pounds over there. And then, uh, yeah, I can't really go on a diet these days because I'm only, like, 17 pounds over. <laughs> if I go any lighter, we might have problems. So, uh, yeah, and then we got the full aerodynamic covering back here. And then under the trunk, I'm not going to open it, there's a 5-gallon fuel cell that's um, with an aftermarket pump. We could have stuck We could have stuck with the factory tank, but, um, yeah, well, whatever. I'd rather do saves weight to have a 5-gallon tank. And then I'll show you under the hood a bit. Oops, should have got the hood prop. There is the 3SG, with uh, complete with headers, and uh, with the standalone ECU, we were able to convert from distributor to coil on plug, using the old distributor hole as a cam sensor. And uh, we're we're building a new head for this thing right now. That's going to have bigger exhaust valves, new cams, TOTA cams, and uh, hopefully get a bigger throttle body up here and some uh, bigger injectors. But um, other than that, it just has forged internals, and we run it on 93 octane. And uh, it's worked pretty good so far. It's been reliable besides uh, one spark plug failure that we had two weeks ago. And, uh, yeah, it just bolts right up to that 93 Celica transmission, and then away we go. This is the thing I was talking about. It still has the factory Toyota 13-pound radiator cap and overflow tank. So I was thinking of upgrading that to a... Uh, Either a beefier radiator, or I might try like just a, a, a TRD 1.2 cape or 1.2 bar cap first, and then uh, yeah, custom air intake. <laughs> you guys know me. I don't. I you know sometimes I like to cheap out on stuff, but hey, I'd rather do this than spend 200 dollars on a metal pipe. So yeah, and then uh, it's just I kind of deleted the pop-ups a little bit, even though the Bondo's starting to crack just from all the stress. And then I kind of designed the front end of this car off the IMSA car, the 1987 Celica IMSA car, just with a fully blacked out grille. Only the center section, don't know if it shows up on the video, is um, actually mesh, so it still flows. And then usually I have a splitter on the bottom of this thing, but it's not on it right now because it can't be for loading. <laughs> It'll scrape the trailer. So, yeah, I'll be posting up video of our race from this, uh, well, yesterday. It's currently Sunday. Don't know the date in June, but... Uh, yeah, so I'll be posting commentary of our GoPro footage shortly. And then, uh, yeah, so you'll be seeing a lot more of this car on the channel, hopefully, if I can ever make find time to make videos, which I don't usually anymore. So, 
I don't know. Maybe this uh, whole GoPro thing will actually get me involved again. But, yeah, so that's why I haven't been making any videos. I've been just a little bit busy around here. These things don't grow on trees. But, um, anyway, I'll see you in that other video tonight. And uh, this is Too Many Toyotas signing off.